once again a very very warm welcome to you all in this online session of general knowledge i am your educator rohi jarad now you must be knowing that and today we'll be discussing about immortal characters and it comes under the topic of literature students some well known writers have created some unforgettable characters and you must be knowing these characters but not their writers so let's have a look to these characters and who created them as well the very first one is it is created by daniel defoe he is a seaman who spends 28 years on a desert island and the character is robinson crusoe up next to it is the hero of a satirical romance written by miguel de cervantes and he is don quixote next to it is created by shakespeare very common one he is the prince of denmark and the hero of the story and the character is hamlet up next to it is the main character of a fairy tale written by brothers grimm she escapes from the life of misery with the help of a fairy godmother and marries a prince and the answer is very simple very easy cinderella next to it is the comedy duo who were famous for their double act and made around 100 comedies together and this duo is laurel and hardy next to it is she is the main character of the story who falls through a rabbit hole into the world of fantasy it is a beautiful story by lewis carroll and it is full of interesting events and the character is my favorite also she is alice in wonderland next to it is created by anna civil this is a horse which is impulsive and spirited with the passage of time it grows smarter and the horse is black beauty up next to it and the last he is the main lead in swami and friends by the indian author r k narayan he is a boy who lives in an indian village and you must be knowing he is swami that's it for today's exercise students i want to discuss about spending money with you spending money smartly helps you to get more by paying less you must have seen your adult doing that right by giving you know so there are some tips for it given on page 22 of your book i want you all to go through these tips and then there is an exercise of sorting out things into wants and needs now i'm giving you the example explaining this suppose i am in need of one pencil and instead of taking one pencil if i am taking 10 pencils so that will be want wanting but if i am in need of one pencil i should buy one pencil only okay so that is how you have to differentiate between your wants and your needs okay so that's it for today keep updating your knowledge thank you and have a wonderful day